Blender Market is having a sale. Let's go through some of the add-ons I reckon you should be snapping up. First up is clean panels. Now, for those of you who've come to my live streams know that I have a ton of add-ons. However, with clean panels, Alt-F, and I've already started doing some presets, hard surface, and you can see how I'm now starting to line these add-ons up, which means that I can have more add-ons on my screen. <laughs> So Auto Rig Pro is the first add-on that I ever purchased and it's all about rigging a character super quick. However, the flagship is Quick Rig. Now, I like to use a lot of Character Creator 4. This is one of their characters. And with the armature selected, I can come up to the top here, select our preset. Yeah, okay, mate. Let's go Quick Rig. Okay, a wham bam like that with a character that's already pre-created. We have now rigged it in Blender to have all the IK and FK jazz. Freaking sick. Now the 3D hairbrush add-on allows for a lot more control when creating hair. The add-on has just had a massive overhaul, so I've picked it up. I've already put my recommendations to the developers to hopefully improve it a little bit more. So I'm really looking forward to how this turns out and hopefully I'll be able to create some brand new hairstyles and put them onto other character creator models and go from there. So I'm really excited about this one. So the perspective plotter add-on is absolutely amazing, especially if you're an environmental artist that wants to mimic what's around you at the moment. Here I took a photo of a local community center and with these kind of like relationship lines on the X and the Y and the Z, I can quickly set the focal length and so on to set the camera up according to what the photo is. And then I can quickly build environment around it. And we have a 3D model of that place. I think this is an absolutely amazing add-on. There is a free version called FSpy. However, if you want this inbuilt into Blender, this is the way to go. Here is the Trafficker and the Botanica add-ons. I love these two add-ons as well. Trafficker primarily because it has a massive list of really good quality cards that are already rigged. And if you want to animate them, it just makes life so much easier. Then with the Botanica, you can just import very quickly a whole bunch of plants and trees and uh, shrubs and so on and so forth. And here you can just see how I'm just slapping this scene together and it just comes out grouse. Now this is the grass blade add-on, select our surface eyedropper, let's click on that one. And here we've got a massive list of a whole bunch of ground coverings, which we can directly apply to this. <gasps> Salad, it's like a lettuce. Let's go load that. Oh yeah. See, each one of these heads is like 50 bucks. <laughs> uh, but then if we kind of come in and let's add something else, maybe some green meadows, we'll load that one on there as well. That's just like, my goodness, how quickly you can add in a setup without doing anything and just make it look gorgeous. Like, pfft. I mean, so with the scatter add on, if we click on this, let's select our wonderful little cubie McCube cube here. Let's select a type of a generation of grassy McGrass grass, quick biome scatter, open biome scatter, reload, please. And then we've got a massive choice of different biomes. Let's go into all. What should we turn this cube into? Maybe a forest three. It's gonna import some stuff. And wham bam, just like that, we've created something super special, super quick, super easy. With the ground cover, I'm just gonna quick make a very quick basic material, brown. Like, come on, can't beat that. Let's do another one. Shift A, let's add in a plane. Select our plane. You can do it, buddy, thank you. And I'm going to do some sort of thick, thick, grassy, grass, grass, open biomes. I do like the soccer. So let's go, oh, mode grass. Oh yeah, baby. Let's just jump into a new material, make that brown. Oof, oof. Come on, like, <clears throat> Now with this nice plump piece of grass, let's get a building. Old F with that clean panels. Oh, so much easier. Let's press N. There we go. And into city builder. And I'm just gonna add in a small Hong Kong house from Light Architect. Mm, this one's a little bit derelict, but these buildings look delish. And you can kind of see just how gorgeous they look just by themselves. It's really simple to build out an entire scene very quickly. Um, and this is the Hong Kong pack from Light Architect, but there is a massive pack that you can actually get. Now moving into the hard surface areas, I'm gonna toot my own horn. 
This is one of my kit bashing sets that's available. This is the volume one and then over into a volume two. So if you want some kit bashing hard surface thingamabobs, got you covered. So Random Flow is another amazing hard surface add-on where you just create a whole bunch of panels and geometry and just make stuff look good. And we use this quite a bit on the sci-fi ship, but you can just see how simple it is to use. And of course the plating and greeble add-on Oh my goodness, this has saved me so much time as well, working on um, other sci-fi ships as well, where we can also slap on greedily pieces, and it's just, it improves workflows so fast, highly recommended. Now with Extreme PBR Combo and Clean, let's click on this one, Shade Maker, and you can see that we've just got a gigantic material library already created. Granite, let's pick one of these. Oh yeah, sign that one. Not bad, let's go pick something else. Mm. Ooh. That one looks nice. Yeah, that's not too bad. What else do we have? Metal plates, I like that one. Let's go refresh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's give that some diamond plating as well. Whew. And so this is just one gigantic library. You'll see me use this plenty on the live streams. I'm a really big fan of this add-on because it just makes my life easier. I don't have to go searching for textures. Now I've also got the Simply Cloth add-on. This just makes using cloth so much easier with all the presets and you just <laughs> highly recommended for this one if you're using cloth simulations quite frequently. And last but not least, you've got Felicia White here who's created some wonderful geometry nodes set up. These are amazing. The water generator is on point. The vine generator. <clears throat> the procedural fire, the tree generator. Oh my goodness, these are so good. If you're looking at geometry nodes and you want to delve a little bit deeper, check these out. Also, don't be afraid to jump on the Fire Pigeons Discord and have a look at what she's also working on.